like to say that if you're having a problem with your TV, be sure to check the model number first. This is what appears in this little box over here. Um, every TV is different. This is a Sony LCD TV, but you'll see the model number and serial number over in a box like this. The model number and serial number are very important because that is what will help you to identify what parts are needed to repair your TV. If you're having a problem with your TV, please feel free to comment in the comment section below this video or send us a message on YouTube with your TV model number and the problem that you're having. This way we'll be able to help you diagnose the problem and suggest a fix. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have unplugged your TV from any power source and that you have also grounded yourself properly. Next you'll want to take out the screws in the TV that are holding the back cover on it. Every back cover of a TV is different but most are held in by screws and can be easily removed. So we've removed all the screws here on the back of the TV. Now we're just going to remove this back panel. Over here we have the backlight inverter. This part can often be covered by a metal or plastic cover. You might have to take out some screws to get to this part if you're going to replace it. The backlight inverter is what controls your CCFLs or your light source for the TV. The backlight inverter again takes the power from the power supply and turns on the lights that supply the light for your TV. The backlight inverter is typically connected to the panel and you'll want to be extremely careful when you're removing any of these pieces. There are different types of connections from the backlight inverter to the panel and typically most are fragile. Some common problems with the backlight inverter. So if you turn on your TV and you see the image show up on the screen for a second and then the screen goes black, it could be your backlight inverter that is causing this problem. So if you have sound coming from your TV, but you don't have an image, it could also be the backlight inverter that is causing this problem. Thank you for watching our LCD video. Again, just a reminder that if you have any issues with your TV and you can't quite figure out the problem, feel free to comment below this video in the comment section and try and be sure to include your TV model number, possibly the serial number, and any symptoms or problems that your TV is displaying. If you do not want to post a comment below the video, please feel free to send us a YouTube message. The more information that you can provide to us about your TV issue, the faster and more accurate our response can be. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 